For today's video, we're gonna be going over something that was non-existent and MLB 20, and that's pitching. You're gonna be getting all the really good pitching tips in this video. We're gonna be going over the newest pitching in the game, which is pinpoint. We're also gonna be talking about pure analog. We're gonna be talking about meter. We're gonna be talking about tunneling. It's gonna be a bunch of pitching stuff in this video. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, I would appreciate you guys can turn on that notification bell so you get notified when every video is live. And without further ado, let's go into the video and show you guys all about pitching in MLB The Show 21. First things first, I wanna welcome everyone over from Xbox who have not played an MLB The Show game. Everyone over in PlayStation who is finally playing this game. I'm so excited for you guys to all join the community. I hope you guys are all gonna enjoy the videos, enjoy the streams. But the first thing you're gonna see when you load up MLB The Show 21 is the main menu. This is where you're gonna be able to go to anything you want, road to the show, Diamond Dynasty, that's where we're gonna be in basically 100% of the time when we play this game. You have Marshall October, Franchise Mode, you have anything you wanna do. But for the pitching, right now we gotta go to Settings, that's gonna be in the top right corner of the screen. When you load into that, you'll press Gameplay, and you'll have a couple different options here. You have Batting and Base Running, you have pitching, you have fielding, general, and so on. We're gonna go to pitching and you have a couple different interfaces here. First, you have difficulty. We're not gonna really worry about the difficulty and that's because when you're playing Diamond Dynasty, it gives you a difficulty automatically set. You can be playing on Veteran, All-Star, Hall of Fame, Legend, if you join in BR, you can be playing in All-Star. But we're gonna go right to the pitching interface. Now, you have a couple different options. I think there's five in total, we have Analog, you have Pulse, you have Pinpoint, which is new in MLB The Show 21. You have Meter and you have Classic. The three main options that people use are Analog, Pinpoint, and Meter. We'll go over more of all of those three options when we get into actually pitching. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it on Pinpoint. You also have Pitch Feedback on, I keep that on. You have pitching view. This is all preference. You have a bunch of different views right here. As you see, I mean, there has to be at least 25 different views here. My personal favorite view is the show 15. That's just something I've used for a long, long time. You'll see you're nice and close to the view. And I like to see where exactly I'm going to place the baseball, what exactly the break is of that baseball. So I use the show 15. Another preference is the pitching ball marker. There's a couple different options here. I keep classic on and I'll show you guys what that means in just a few moments. For pitching confidence, I keep that on. Pitch delay normal, API, I just keep that off. So then you're gonna back out of that. You'll just apply your settings. And next you'll go into custom practice. You go down here, learn to play custom practice. We're gonna just use the Hall of Fame teams. If you scroll up, there's three separate Hall of Fame teams. You have the mid-century groundbreakers. You have the expensive area boomers and you have the long ball beast. So I'm just gonna go to the long ball beast and I'll pitch with, who knows, let's just go to one of these teams. We'll just pitch with the expansion era boomers and I'll talk to you guys when we get into the game. When you load into practice, this is the first thing you're gonna see. Now I want a batter to be there. So what you're gonna do is pause the game. We're gonna go to team practice and you're gonna get a bunch of options right here. So again, we're on defense, we're pitching. The batter, we'll just use Craig Vigio, whatever. For our pitcher, we're gonna go pitch with, I want someone with like a sinker cutter. Does anyone on this team have that? No one on that team has that, so we're just gonna go with Goose here. There's a good, there's always a 99 Goose in the game, so we'll just use Goose. We'll put that on repeat. What the repeat means is that every single pitch will be repeated in a 00 count, because we have none of that on. We'll keep no runners on and so on. So let's get into it. And here is pinpoint pitching. Now you see the little marker go down and then go up. That is the speed of what your analog needs to do. And then it goes down into the ball. So what you gotta do is go down, up with your analog stick, and then go down with the analog stick into the ball, just like this. So you got the speed, it shows green 87 accuracy. As the ball closes, you go down and it's gonna be a strike. And it gives you the feedback right away. We'll show you that again. Let's say we can get 100% accuracy here. We're gonna keep it in the same spot. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go up. 
We got 63 accuracy and we're gonna go down. And again, that's a ball, but it's not that bad of a pitch. We're just gonna keep going with the fastball and show you guys a couple more examples. We're gonna go inside here. We just gotta get the speed down. That's one of the most important things when it comes to pinpoint. The most important is getting it exactly to the circle. You wanna get it perfectly diagonal to the circle when the circle collapses into the smaller one. And what I mean by that is we're gonna go here and I'm just gonna mess up the timing here. We'll show you guys what I mean by it collapsing, right? If you're gonna, I want you guys to all focus on the blue circle right now. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go up and you see how it goes right there and then bam. And that's a really, really good pitch right there because we got the timing down well and we threw it or they got the analog down to the circle as it collapsed into the smaller circle. The thing that makes pinpoint extremely difficult is that each pitch has a different movement. We already saw the four seam, you go down, you go up, and then you go into the circle. If I now go to choose sinker, which is triangle, this time you go down, you make a 180 circle, or you make a 180 thing, you move your, your analog stick 180, I can't speak, and then you go down into the circle. So let's try that this time. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go around, and then as it collapses, we're gonna go right there and I kind of missed that inside, so that's why that's inside. Let's try that again. We're gonna select triangle. We're gonna watch the speed. We wanna kind of mimic the speed exactly and then get it to as close to the circle as possible. So let's see if we can throw a good pitch here. We're gonna watch it one more time. We go down, okay, let's do that. There we go, we got 100% accuracy and bam. And that's a really, really good pitch. It went inside because we, we were a little bit early on the circle collapsing. Again, that's the most important part. You gotta get the collapsing circle timing down perfectly so you get want the, so the ball goes to exactly where you want it to go. We're gonna throw another sinker again just to keep showing you guys what I mean by this. So let's watch the timing one more time. It keeps showing you, let's do that. We got 53. And bam. See, that time we got it right. We hit the circle exactly when it collapses and the ball went right where it was supposed to. We're gonna choose a slurve this time with the circle. This is a completely different movement. This time you're gonna go left, you're gonna make all the way around and then go down. So let's do that. This time we just wanna watch the speed of it. There you go. So it's kind of slow this time. So we're gonna go down. There you go, 83% down and that's a really really good pitch we're just two seconds late according to the feedback let's throw another slurve here watch the speed we got the speed down 69 percent. that is extremely nice and i missed it six degrees left and that's why it went left we're now going to move on and put someone at first base so we're going to go we're going to go to practice type team pitching runner on first base then you press start so it keeps the guy at first base Again, with pinpoint, it's all about the timing and how you get the analog stick in the collapsing circle. Now, when you are in the stretch, the timing of each pitch is gonna be different than how it was in the windup. So we're gonna go into the sinker now and show you how the speed is different. You see, this is a little bit faster than it was in the windup. So let's see if we can get this right here. There we go. That was actually a terrific pitch. And what I've noticed is that the speed of the of the movement of the pitches is kind of the same as it was in the lineup. The difference is the release of going up and down into the circle is way faster in the stretch than it was in the windup. And let me show you exactly what I'm saying now because you might be a little bit confused after that. So the down and the indication of going around is basically the same speed as it was in the windup. And then you see it's way faster going straight down and that's because the stretch is faster than the windup. So let's try to get this down right, down correct again. So here we go, we got that down and then bam. Okay, we were a little late. I don't know how that was a good pitch, but we were a little late there. We gotta be way quicker with that. Let's try that one more time. There we go, that time we were 0 0.03 seconds late. That's fine though, that's actually a terrific pitch. You throw that online, it's gonna work all day. Okay. So pinpoint is all it's kind of confusing. We'll talk about it a little bit more later on. Let's move on to the next pitching option, which is gonna be meter. This is gonna be way more simpler in the fact that all the pitches, all the timings are the exact same, whether there's a guy in first base, whether you're in the windup, etc. We're gonna keep the guy at first base and we're gonna just press X here and not touch anything. So right now you're gonna see the meter on the on the top and 
the thing you're gonna notice with the par system around the baseball, the little shadow, is that it's wider than it was for Pinpoint. Just like I said earlier in the video, this is, according to SDS, the second most accurate option in the game this year. I don't know if I believe that, even though it shows it. Just meter always feels like it's not accurate at all, at least to me. I'm not a big meter fan. I still want to show you guys it, though. So the key to meter is what you got to do is you hold X, and it has, the, you see the little yellow color, the orange color, and the red color. If you get it closer to the red color, the pitch is going to be faster, but it's going to move way faster on the way back to the line that you got to connect it to. So I'll show you guys what I mean by that real quick. So I'm going to hold X down here, get it all the way red, and you see how it's faster? I got the timing perfect. It moves way faster than it would be if it was on the yellow. I'll show you what I mean. If I just press X right now and let it go, like there, on the way back, it's slower, but the pitch is going to be slower. You might get less movement, so you try to hold on to it as long as possible. If I choose a slurve again, it's kind of be the same thing here. I'm going to hold X. I let it go too early. That's why it was to the left. You just kind of got to keep it as long as possible and get it to as close as that yellow line as you can. We're going to try that one more time. We're a little late. It was a ball. So it's kind of all working around that. Again, I'm not a big meter fan. I don't really advise you guys to use meter. We're going to go into what I'm going to be using this year, and that's pure analog. Yes, at least at the beginning of the game, I am not going to use pinpoint. And the reason why I'm not going to use pinpoint is I've been practicing a lot with analog. And it feels extremely smooth this year. Compared to last year, if I got good timing, the pitch would go anywhere. It could literally hang. Say I got good good on pure analog, that pitch would be right down the middle. This year, what I've noticed, if you can locate your pitch and get good timing, it goes exactly where you want it to go. Even though SDS said this is the third best pitching option in the game this year, I've been really diving with it. I've talked to a couple other people. They've also really, really enjoyed this. It's just pinpoints just so it's kind of confusing as you guys can tell with how I've been explaining it. It's just really hard. So let's go into explaining your analog into a little bit more detail. First thing you're going to do, let me take the runner off real quick. Here we go. First thing you're going to see is this meter right here. That's the pure analog system. What you got to do is bring your analog stick. Let me go full screen here. This analog stick, the right stick down into the yellow line and then bring it back up into the arrow, the ball with the arrows on it. So here you go. We're gonna go down, you hold it until right now, you release it and you go up. And you see that ball, I threw it a little bit inside, but it still went exactly where I wanted it to go. I'll show you that again. We're gonna bring the meter down to the yellow and then try to get it there. That's a perfect pitch and see how it went exactly where it was supposed to. Last year that didn't happen. This year I've noticed pitching is a lot smoother so you have better connection with the pitch. We're gonna do that one more time. I'll bring it up and away. And if you see, if I bring it left, it'll go all the way left. If I bring it right, it goes all the way right. So that's just how it will be for anything. It don't matter if I'm using a, a slur, a sinker, a changeup, a fastball, a screwball, a knuckleball, it don't matter. This whole system is exactly the same for every pitch. So again, we're gonna go up and away. You hold it until the yellow line. You release it and bam, we got a perfect kick. And again, it went exactly where it was supposed to. Let's go move on to the sinker here. The sinker, we're gonna try to get this right. We're holding it down. Perfect pitch, just late. And it still went exactly where I wanted to go. I'm telling you guys, I'm pretty sure pure analog is gonna be the move this year. This could change, this could be patched. Maybe they make the system worse again. Cause I know they didn't want as many people using it this year. They wanted people to use the pinpoint. But pinpoint just seems like it's a lot of work and it's giving you the same results as pure analog's been giving me. We're gonna move on to the slurve now. See if this is located as well. Again, good timing. And again, it's exactly where I want it to go. Let's see if slurve inside. Let's see what happens if I try to throw an off speed pitch inside right now. Good timing. Look at that. I mean, I'm telling you guys, pure analog is going to be the move, and it's just way easier to use over pinpoint, which is just kind of, it's just hard. It's just, there's so many with all, I haven't even showed you guys a splitter, which is absolutely ridiculous on pinpoint. But again, we're, let's go to change up here. It's all the same. Everything's the same. You just pick the pitch, you try to go down and up, and if you can get this, the repetitions done, you will be able to dot this year. Let's go to the stretch, put a guy on first base. Again, it's the same thing, the speed. With this, 
Let me rephrase. This is actually different now because out of the stretch, again, I said it earlier, he's faster. So the yellow line is going to be quicker. This will be different on each pitcher, but it's easier than it was on pinpoint. So here we go. We just got to hold it down for a second, basically second and a half, and then bring it back up. So here we go. Bam. Perfect pitch. It goes exactly where I want. Then we'll go back to the sinker. We'll just go down and away. I like to dot it a little bit over here. We get that accuracy and it goes exactly where I want it to. So again, I'm going to be using pure analog this year over pinpoint. Again, I'm going to keep saying this. It could change. This could change. But for now, I will be using pure analog over pinpoint until I can either maybe figure out pinpoint a little bit better, maybe understand it better, or there's an easier way of doing it. But again, I will be sticking with pure analog for now. If you guys have any questions about the entirety of this video, just write them in the comment section. I'll make sure to reply to them. Again, I will be coming out with another Pigeon Tips video in about a month, either explaining pinpoint in more detail as we get a better understanding of it, or if pure analog is still the more dominant system, I'll let you guys know that. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, I would appreciate it. You guys can turn on that notification bell so you get notified when every video is live. And until next time, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm out.